Hi guys, happy 2021. I hope that you guys are doing great. Um, doing fine, I'm doing great. So far, so good. 2021 has been weird, but I believe that it will turn out better. So far, so good. So we're just going to do some makeup, honestly, as usual. So just relax, eh? Relax and watch me do my makeup. But anyway, <laughs> I hope your 2021 is better than mine. Mine is a bit sucky, 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 sucky. Yeah, but um, yeah, guess what? I've been on YouTube now for almost a year and I have 85 subscribers. Wow. If you're one of the 85, thank you so much. If you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? I've been on YouTube for more than a year. No, it's like a year. Yeah. 8 to 5, guys. 8 to 5. I think YouTube is playing me. It's really playing me. Now, what was I looking for? Foundation. Yes. And today, guys, I want to mix two foundations because I've never found my perfect foundation shade. And uh, unfortunately, I don't live near a beauty shop where I can test the foundation shades I'm supposed to use. And... Uh, yeah, I always end up buying darker, lighter, different shades. And today, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this foundation. I have this Revlon 530. This one is the one closest to my skin shade. But unfortunately, it's still slightly light. Although it does oxidize. But in my opinion, it's slightly light. And it's also like medium coverage in fact if you're using this revlon one i'd suggest that you use a brush like this one instead of this damp beauty blender because as you can see it's just medium coverage and adding a damp something makes it worse so don't use a beauty blender if you're using this photo candid foundations just use a brush but i'm i'm looking for foundation that i'm supposed to mix and where is it where is it oh sorry guys <laughs> as i'm telling you 2021 has just been weird and awkward and uh yeah some bad stuff has happened to me ah not as a person but like i've gotten bad news i've gotten yeah but uh, let's not dampen the spirit now um all will be well all will be well and i always believe that everything happens for a reason so yeah so i have this 410 and i actually bought this this one is 530 but it's kind of close to my skin tone as you can see but this 410 is really really light and i just bought it just in case this 530 was not you know and i want to mix this 410 with this uh, Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me foundation that is darker than my skin. Like this one is really, really dark for my skin. It may not come off as dark. It may come off as ashy, but it's actually darker. Yeah, though it normally looks ashy on the camera. So I want to mix this Maybelline for Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation in the shade 352. And I want to mix this Revlon Photo Candid foundation in the shade 410 which is too light and i hope that she'll come up with something meaningful guys i really hope that we have a wonderful 2021 because 2022 was because 2022 was just pathetic 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 we lost so many people but i don't want to talk about that now because it's just painful let me just now, those guys who normally mix foundation shades, what do you normally do? Because I'm just mixing randomly on my hand like this. As you can see, they look so different. Like the dark one is down and this light one is on top. I just hope their consistency is mixed because if they do not mix, I'm in trouble. Okay, it's producing something. I think I mix too much. Too much. Mm. Holy holy moly. Holy moly. <laughs> why? Why, Lord? Why? Okay. 
let me just pick up the dark one and just do something about it because we cannot be doing this in 2021 no way let me just pick up this dark one truly we cannot be um yeah much better we cannot be doing that kind of thing in 2021 although it's still i my god <laughs> I also, I, I, I normally feel like this darker one, this 352, is really ashy. It's dark, but it produces like an ashy effect, like it's not a warm undertone. I don't know how to explain it. I'm looking for a mirror. Hey, 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 why am I so disorganized? Yeah. Today, guys, you'll just have to bear with me today. And for those of you, by the way, who are planning to buy like uh, this 352, the Fit Me Maybelline, just know it's not for warm undertones. It's not for warm undertones. It's like, I think for, I don't know if there's cool undertones with dark skin, but it somehow makes me too ashy. It's dark, but it's ashy. So you wonder, guys, I have to log out and look. But as I was saying, literally, I've done like 120 YouTube videos, and literally, I have 80 subscribers, like less than the videos, meaning that each video is giving me less than one subscriber. So um, I feel like YouTube is playing me, but anyway. Just in case you normally see my videos, leave a comment down below whether you're subscribed or not. Just to let me know, like, maybe there's an issue with my channel. Maybe I was, like, shadow banned if there's such a thing, though I doubt. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So I'm just going to blend it up to my neck because... We are looking crazy. We are looking crazy, people. We are looking crazy. But I think it's kind of blended well, although it's ashy, as you can see. Yeah. But you get the point. You get the gist. I don't know whether you people can see, but actually it does make me look ashy. It's not like it's, um, what is it called? Pale. It's not paler than me. Like if you actually see it during the day, like in daylight, it actually looks darker. But, hey, what do we do? What do we do? We use what we have. Somebody hates. I know so many people who, like, I remember the other time on TikTok, I did a video actually with this makeup, with this foundation. And people are there like, that's not your foundation shade. <laughs> of course, I know it's not my foundation shade, duh. But hey, I purchased it with money. And if those people were good enough at that time, they'd have put an app saying, hey, you can test this. You can try it out before you purchase, but at that time, there was no such thing. There was no such thing. So, so I'm just putting the mixture that I made, just because, why not? I don't want it to go to waste. I really have a seriously warm undertone, as you can even see. Like, I think maybe the <laughs> so, guys, I've taken like forever to blend that out, but <laughs> why not? Why not blend it out? Um, next, we are just going to take 
a pencil and do my eyebrows because I normally do them with a pencil. I don't even have a spoolie, guys, because I always keep on forgetting to buy a spoolie. Because, um, you know, it's not like where I stay, as I say, they can't really find a beauty shop. And so anytime I order online, I just forget to buy a spoolie. So we'll just have to do with a pencil. Just zoom in a bit and completely ignore the crazy eyebrows. Honestly, they look so crazy. But let's just fix them up with some uh, concealer. And I'm just going to use the, this illegal concealer, this Pro Conceal Concealer. Pro Conceal. Yeah, we're going to use that one just to like make them a bit thin because they absolutely look insane. Seriously, we cannot go walking around like this in 2020. One, 2021. Okay, those guys who have naturally thick, flowy brows. I'm so envious. Why do you even go cut them up? Why? Now that. Seriously, why would you go cut up your eyebrows if you have naturally long eyebrows? That's just the worst thing. I'd rather have a unibrow than brows that do not exist. I don't know, but I feel like a unibrow is coming in. It's going to be a thing sooner than we know. So I just hope they look a bit thin, slightly thin. And I have a pimple right here, so I don't really feel like drawing over that pimple. And they may not be symmetrical, but they are drawn. So let's move on. So next I'm going to do the eyeshadow. And I think this is my best part because why not? Why not? And I'm just going to look for a palette that is palatable. Yeah. Let's use this Novena one and let's check out some shades that we can use. I'm going to use this yellow. I'm going to use this yellow here. This one that looks like the sun's gonna set. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And I think I'll just apply it with my fingers. Now, Let's not go crazy with the yellow first. Let's just first apply a base shade. I know this tutorial is all over the place. It wasn't even a tutorial. It was just talking about 2021. So bear with me on that. So I'm going to take this dark, 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 dark one here. This maroon one here. And I'm just going to apply it in the crease of my eye. If you know what a crease is. Just in the crease to make it look deeper. I don't know why I want it to look deeper, but that's what I feel like. Uh, near our brows. So the shiny shade we are going to go for is this one. I don't feel like changing palette. This one. Forgive me for that disgusting mirror on this palette, but I'm only human. So I'm just going to apply that shiny shade under my eyebrow right there to define my drawn in brows. Or to highlight them. Yeah, 
they're highlighted so that's good and then now i'm going to apply that yellow we're heading towards the yellow we are heading towards the yellow yes so i'm just going to take this mustard one this this is the shade d4 sorry about that d4 and i'm going to apply that d4 all over my eyelid all over the eyelid my african skin is not allowing these colors to pop as visibly as i'd like them to but if i'd have to, I've applied that um a white primer or something that'd be more visible so we're just gonna go in with that yellow and put it in the corner of our eyes yeah Ooh, now that yellow is popping Now that is pigment. I'm just going to go back in with this maroon shade. Just make it pop, 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 not be disheartened never give up on your dreams just going to take another brush that i will deem clean and i'm just going to try and blend all this out like try and blend 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 but i think it's fairly blended And I think I'm just going to take some of that yellow and apply it under my, where's the brush I used for the yellow? Okay, I'll just take a smaller one, like this small one, and use it to um, apply here, right here, under my eyes, and just like spread it. You know. Make it look like there's some continuity. And I'll just take like a brown shade and like continue it this way. Okay, that's done. Okay, so now I'm going to take the concealer. Let's do the mascara first because mascara tends to fall out. I'm not going to do any false lashes. This is 2021. You can wear what you want. You don't have to do false lashes. So just going to use mascara and I'm just using this Maybelline wow total temptation mascara honestly just tell me in the comment section whether you've actually viewed this video or not or even if it's just popped up or something of the sort in your feed because I feel like 85 subscribers is actually like telling me, get out of YouTube. What are you doing here? Like, what? I think this is going to be the longest video I've ever done. But hey, why not? Now we are back into normal mode. I'm going to take this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. And I'm just going to use it as concealer. So as a concealer and also as a cream highlighter. Mm -hmm. About to go crazy there. <laughs> 
anyway just because my cheeks are so like i'll just add a bit here I don't look like that yeah so i'm just going to use like a flat brush this one and i'm just going to pat this in Am I complaining? No, I'm not. It's 2021. It's a new year. One of my goals this year is actually to reach 10,000 subscribers. I don't know if that's going to be possible considering the rate YouTube. So let me just take this Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to use it as a brightening powder or what people commonly call baking. I don't know what baking is, but yes, it's something to do with letting the stuff stay and cook. But I just use it as a brightening powder because it does brighten. And forgive my application. You know, horrible. But um, what next? What haven't we done because i've done the eyes i've done the concealer i could just contour my nose as we wait for this to set let me do my nose and i'm just going to look for a dark 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 shade of brown somewhere and do my nose oh my goodness I'm going to give another lipstick that has given me hell because I don't like wasting anything. I absolutely hate wasting anything. And when I buy something, I better use it. So this Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Amazonia. And I bought it just because, um, oh, it's by Maybelline. I bought it just because I like the name Amazon and because... <laughs> People used to claim I'm an Amazon, although it was an insult back then because I'm really tall. But, um, you know, nowadays it's cool to be an Amazon now that we have Wonder Woman. But it looked like a good shade of nude, although mm, it looks really awkward on me. But we are going to give it another try. And today I'm going to apply gloss on top of it because it's a matte shade. Maybe the gloss might make it look a bit different. So let's try this because honestly, it has given me so much hell. It always makes me <laughs> look so weird, but we'll still try it. Oh, wow. I'm already crying. And also, as I apply setting powder, because I have to apply setting powder. So I'll just try and apply setting powder and some highlight, and then we'll see. But this lipstick is not my lipstick. It looks so weird. You know, at least this setting powder will even make... Because at least this setting powder, it's the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Caramel. It has like warm undertones to it. So it's a bit better than that other ashy one. So I'm just going to like apply it all over my face. But oh. 
the lipstick, but it's still bad. It's not my lipstick. <laughs> so, assuming it's dried, oh, let me just put a bit of this uh, Master Chrome highlighter so that um, you can get some highlight. No, no, no. Yeah, that, that looks weird, but oh, my nose looks extremely long, like it's pointing down long. I'm just going to apply some there. The highlight. Yeah, so that um, I was to take some gloss and gloss up the slips, gloss them up. Yeah. I it will make a difference. Yeah, let's zoom in. Now here is the fun part, the wig. <gasps> Why not? Let's say classy.